Hello my friends and welcome to another guide, this time I'm gonna teach you about Lydia the Chaos Archer and uh, she is a pretty interesting uh, character, boss, whatever you wanna call it, and she is very important because she gives you two very special things which is the devourer, is the first thing that uh, helps you salvage stuff and of course the Chaos Volley, which is, in my opinion, probably one of the higher level or, well, more popular abilities in the game right now. This is very useful because it does 50% more damage than uh, your normal Shadow Bolt. Uh, it does 125 each bolt and you throw two of them. So, honestly, pretty good, pretty good if you want to see that. And along with that, it also does a burn on top of that. So, once you hit somebody with it, the target will also burn, which is very important for bosses and even normal mobs and so on because the burn actually adds up to the damage. So, there is Honestly, no reason to use uh, the normal uh, bloodshot anymore. In my opinion, this is a straight upgrade and I see no reason not to use it, to be honest, compared to that one. Uh, let's go on to the Devourer. The Devourer is the salvage way uh, in the V Rising. This is how you salvage things. All you have to do is put it in your base and you're gonna have input and output. What does this mean is that you can take your items, put them in the input and you will uh, wait a little bit and then you get, you're gonna get the materials out of them. As you can see here, for example, I'm gonna get 14 iron ingots and 11 planks. That's one less resource than uh, what it takes to craft it. So it's pretty good. Personally, I would use this one to get a lot of papers or scrolls because you're gonna get a lot of random books and once you've learned uh, something the book already taught you, you're gonna have the book and do nothing with it. But by having a devourer, you can just put the book inside the devourer and you're gonna get scrolls and then you can discover. This is the way to RNG your progress in the study or the research bench. Now moving on to the actual fight with the boss. The boss itself is not particularly difficult in my opinion. He, uh, she is found in the south uh, east area of the starting zone. So basically, once you come out of the graveyard, you're gonna be able to find her ar around on the roads, or you can, of course, just uh, track her uh, the blood altar. It's not gonna be that hard of a fight. She has a few abilities that you should uh, watch out for. Like for example, she does this uh, three bolts that she throws towards you and they work basically the same way as the chaos bolt you're gonna get after killing her they do damage and they also do like a burn on top of you she also goes invisible which is a bit dangerous but she's not fully invisible if you've paid attention or uh, seen it happen before with the assassins uh, she goes invisible but she's more like uh, transparent, you know, like you can see her move around and something is off. Another thing she does is those uh, AOE fire on the floor. She throws those orbs that you've seen like a few seconds ago and the orbs hit the ground, do damage on impact and they also do fire damage if you stay in it. So like for example right here, if you stay in that fire you will take uh, quite a bit of damage. If you don't, uh, well, you just move away pretty easy, it's pretty straightforward. Once you get her down, you don't have to have all your teammates uh, actually go inside her. Uh, wink wink, of course. If you are close enough, it's, uh, you're still gonna get the reward from uh, killing her. That's gonna be it for uh, this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you are new, subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. You get the idea. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later today with another video or maybe tomorrow with another video. I have a few ideas in mind. I want to pump up a few pretty nice videos to be honest. So I'll see you soon.